All right, what's going on, Fifth Fam? Um, Sammy Collier here, uh, back again with Team Warrior Field. Today we're going to be doing an insane shoulder workout. Myself and uh, Warrior Field CEO Ryan. Uh, just getting back from USA, so I'm really looking to hit some weaker spots. Uh, really blast my shoulders and build them up. So we're going to jump into some of those workouts to help you um, really put some size on those shoulders. We're here uh, going to be blasting some shoulders with Sammy C. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be focusing using the FST7 training style, mixing it with a few other things. But we're going to focus right here on the like the medial and rear delt to starting off because that's the weakest part of most athletes, especially physique guys or bodybuilders. So we're going to pound this out, FST7 style, get the blood flowing, do a little pre-exhaustion, and then we're going to we're going to blast out some military presses and see where we go from there. If you watch this, so if we were us straight up, it'd be a medial head, right? The very, the very outside of my my delt. So instead, we're gonna bend over a little bit, and we're gonna come back with our elbows and do. We're gonna add a little bit of a rear to rear to medial delt in there. So we hit that weak point that most people have a hard time with. Keep your elbows above your hands. Yep. Just don't break. Constant motion, constant tension on the muscles. Both your hands. Bring your hands down. There you go. So rack those, and I want you to come over here, and I want you to stretch. So FST7, we're gonna we're gonna stretch the the delt. Get a good stretch in it. Hold it for like 15 seconds. So we want to stretch the delt in our between our first set, and then we're going to flex the delt in between our next set. We're going to we're going to switch every other set. Stretch it, flex it, stretch it, flex it for seven sets. So you can see his rear delt taking place. So now we want to flex it. Hold your hands right here, and just bring your for your shoulders forward and flex your delts. And just flex it. Just continue to contract your delts as if almost as a rep. So hold it for like five or ten seconds. And stop. So you can sit there and just boom. Hold it. Bring your shoulders forward. Hold it for five or ten seconds. So our next exercise is we're gonna do front dumbbell raises with our bodies, our posture leaning forward just a little bit to isolate. And then we're gonna superset it with rear delts. And we're gonna do kind of like a small giant set, kind of a tri set for rear delts and front delts. So hop on here, Sammy. Okay. There you go. So what I want you to do, bring your feet really close together. Lean forward just a little bit, right there, right there. Now I want you to go up, I want you to hold it as long as you can and bring it back down. So in like, like three seconds on a hold, go down, all the way down to your sides, through the dumbbells, down to your sides. And then lean forward, and come up. Now come up. One, two, three, back down. Just 
Okay, give me eight. Switch up dumbbells to machines, to Smith machine, to kind of switch it up. Give our shoulders a little bit of a break when we're going into giant sets like we are today. So today we're using the Smith machine. We're gonna start off 15 reps, and then we're gonna jump into sets of eight. Sammy and I go quick. We, we like to get in a good sweat, get our heart rate up, so we don't take a lot of time in between sets. So we're not sitting there chatting, taking two, three, four minutes. We're, as soon as we feel like our Oxidizations back into our red blood cells where you feel like we can hit it again, but we're not breathing too hard, we're back on the set. And so we want to maximize everything that we can get out of it. So if you look at Sammy, what we're doing right now is we're it's time under tension. So we're going slow on the way down and going a little quicker on the way up for every breath. All right, here we go. Every breath, let's make it count. Up, oh, come on. There we go, there we go. Up. Oh. So one of the things that we do with shoulders or pretty much with every body part is we like to hit as hard as we can in the shortest amount of time. So right now, instead of doing four or five sets of rear delts, we've maximized our pretty much what our muscles can take. And so we're finishing off with what I call some touch-up exercises for rear delts. Like the, 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 the rear-facing pec deck, hit, hit those rear delts, squeeze them, only doing three sets, hitting those three sets as much as we can, getting as much blood flow in there. And then we're gonna, we're, we're at the point right now where you can feel it. We know we're in tune with our bodies. We know what we can take, what's going too far. And we're at the point now where we're just about to finish up. We'll hit a 45 minute shoulder workout, just annihilate them, and we're done. The biggest difference between that and doing super high volume for like what I call marathon workouts, you don't, you don't maximize your muscle growth. You go, you put all the, the blood in there, you get the blood flowing, you get the, you get the pump, and then you start in the decline. And guys continue to go without the pump, without the blood flow. What we wanna do is we wanna get in here, we wanna, we wanna bust ass, and we wanna get out. Upright rows, what we like to do is we like to keep our elbows real high and our hands low. So we like to make sure that we're isolating everything. Usually I do like 12 reps to 15 reps, sometimes even 20 reps. I don't like going heavy, but I like to keep and incorporate just my deltoids. And so this, the last one all we did is did three sets of 10. I, I always do a shoulder workout with upright rows. I never can do a shoulder workout without them because I feel them so much all over my delt. And so we did three sets of 10. Next time we'll probably do three sets, four sets of 15. And I incorporate them at different times of the workout. Um, but this last one, three sets of 10. Um, exercises for shoulders. It's called rainbows. And so we're gonna go two sets or two reps in the back of the head for rear for rear presses and one set in the front, all the way to 75 reps. And we'll we'll do a rest pause technique. So we're gonna rest when we have absolutely have to, take a few second break and keep going until we hit 75 reps. Finished up an awesome workout with uh, with Sammy here at Gold's Gym in Utah. 
We, uh, the whole emphasis behind our workouts, behind, behind my theories, um, I believe that there's no right way or correct way of training. There's a lot of different good ways. So I like to incorporate a lot of different stuff. Um, one of the workouts we did was a little bit of FST7 training at the beginning of our workout. And we finished with uh, an exercise that I learned from, from Guy Cicerino who does what they call rainbows at the end, where we just do maximize the blood flow, doing 75 solid reps um, at the end of our workout. We like to hit, I like to incorporate giant sets, drop sets, uh, tri sets, any kind of, anything that's gonna switch things up and really blast our shoulders. One of the things that I get a lot of people asking me is how, how do you get big shoulders or how do you get big rear delts? And it's all angles. My theory of working out is hitting everything, not just with heavy weight, but isolating each muscle, um, each head of the delt, and using perfect form and getting the most contraction out of it. Time under tension, always keeping your the muscle con contracted as you are working out. Um, you get a lot of guys that are that rest at the end of each each rep, or they take long breaks, three to four minutes in between sets. We like to hit as hard as we can. We like to get in, we like to get out, and then refeed our muscles with with branched chain amino acids, with protein, with the things that we have. One of the things that we just came out with is our coconut uh, pineapple branched chain amino acid. And uh, on here, if you can look at our, our amino acid complexes, we have a two on one ratio of instantized amino blast. And then we have added leucine to keep you anabolic. We also have put in here some, some taurine, some tyrosine, histidine and L-alanine for recovery. Um, a lot of people don't understand that when they're in the gym and they're killing their workouts, they're putting a lot of strenu, a lot of, uh, uh, I guess a lot of, uh, pretty much they're, they're, they're killing their nervous system. They're coming in here and they're, they're putting a lot of hard work on their nervous system and they need to recover that nervous system. You come in here day in and day out and you're, you're blasting back and then you're killing legs your nervous system needs a break or it's not going to fire into the proper muscles and groups that you need to come tomorrow. And so our biggest thing is, is recovery. We want to have the, the ingredients that you need, we want to have the, the essential aminos, everything that you need to get in there to recover and get ready for the next day. One of the things that Sammy and I both used going into our workout was the Warrior Fuel TVP. This has 3,000 uh, milligrams of deaspartic acid to increase the testosterone levels for a three to four hour period during our workout. And then we have 10 grams of a strength and pump matrix, which is, a, there's no fillers. Our stuff is full to the top. We have 10 grams of strength, strength and pump matrix, um, followed by, as you know, with all of our pre-workouts and everything that we do, we use a lot of stuff that stimulates the brain. We're low on stimulants, but we want to use ingredients to stimulate the brain. So our muscles are firing, our, our, we're focused, we're ready for that to hit those exercises with a, with a peak contraction. So, killed our shoulder workout, had an awesome workout with Sammy, and uh, we, had our, we had our aminos in post-workout. You can get all of our stuff at worryfillsupplements.com. You can see our videos. We're gonna to continue to do videos about every two weeks, give you guys the education, give, let you guys switch things up by trying the new things that we do. And uh, go check out our website. We're putting up apparel almost every single day so you guys can get some of the stuff that you see us wearing and that you see other people wearing on, on our social media. My social media is Ryan underscore Worryfield Supplements. Sammy. Uh, you can find me either on Facebook, Sammy Lee Collier, or um, Instagram, Mr. Underscore Sammy C. Uh, I just want to say thanks again for riding with us on another great workout. As always, myself and the whole team, we appreciate the love and support.